Welcome back to 365 Friends. Today I'm going to talk about Veronoi. Veronoi. Or, or Voronoi. Anyway, uh, 360 has, a, has an add-on available named Veronoi Sketch Editor. And I use that to create this. Um, that that add-in is um, it's not polished, so it's got a couple quirks, and uh, I'll uh, go over how I how I used it and my workflow. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, Verona, Verona, for however you say it. Let's do it. Um, I've already added this plugin to my Fusion 360, so the it uh, the icon for it sits right here. I downloaded it from this site. I just did a a Google search for Verona Sketch Generator Fusion 360, and uh, clicked on the first link here, and this is where it uh, brought me. I clicked the download button. And I, I did have to uh, stop and relaunch Fusion 360, but once I did that, the icon is here. Okay, so here's how to use this thing. It's a, it's a free plugin. Um, let's look. Is there a date for this thing? Uh, 2015. Last updated in 2021, but, but you know, it's not... Um, it's got some quirks, you know. It's not, uh, it's not polished. So, <clears throat> to use it, so what I have here is a little uh, pencil holder, pen holder I designed years ago, um, and I'd like to add some Veronoi to this. So let's do it. Um, uh, let's start with this surface right here. So in order to use this, uh, this plugin. You need to select a sketch to put it on. So we need to first create a sketch. So I'm going to create a sketch on this plane, and I'm just going to finish it. And then if I go to the Voronoi Sketch Editor, the first thing it wants me to do is to select that sketch. And it says sketch or profile, but it doesn't let me select other profiles, as you can see here. But it will let me select this newly created sketch that I just made. So I'll select that, and it tells me here that the profile width and height is this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say use that profile size. So it's going to change the width and height uh, uh, measurements here. And from there, I go to the Voronoi editor. <clears throat> so there's uh, some different things here. Cell count, cell scale, the relaxation. There's some clipping. First thing I like to do is I, I don't want this all the way to the edge here. I want to, I want some padding. So I'm going to select that. Just add a point 0.1 to the padding here. The cell scale. I'm going to be 3D printing this, and the this is extremely difficult to 3D print. I'm going to bring the cell padding down to about 70. And, it, and you can see what it did there. It made um, it gave us a little bit more padding between each cell. And I, I am going to bring the cell count down to something reasonable here. Let's, even 30. That, that looks pretty nice. So here's something I have found. If you're using the mouse here, see what it does. It jumps between 19, 12, 23. I don't get some in-between numbers here. But it, if I just... You know, click the mouse there, and if I use the arrow keys, it lets me fine tune how many cell counts there are here. Now, one quirky thing about this is, you know, I, I told it to make the padding point one, but as we change the cell counts, and I'm just going between 19 and 20 here. See what it's doing is it's just it's jumping around, and boy, that's annoying. So. So basically what I do here is I try to find, a, like that looks really good. That looks great. 
Okay, so I'm going to use this. So at this point, I'm happy. And, you know, I probably should say uh, the, the cell style here, I have selected as curved. There's also straight, where it, it's much more jagged. There's circles, squares. There's different um, items to use here. But I, I tend to stick with the curved. I like the curved. So uh, I haven't played around with the download SVG function. That doesn't actually seem to work for me. Publish to Fusion 360 is the next thing we're going to click here. So publish that, and boom, look what it did here. It didn't even put the doggone thing on my profile. That's something that's annoying. And that has something to do with where this object is placed in space here. So if we look at the origin, you see, I, I put this in the middle of this square is the middle of the, of the origin here. And what it's doing is it's, it's only putting it in, in positive directions, if that makes sense. So basically what I need to do here is, uh, is to move this. So I'm going to select these cells, uh, right click, I'm going to say move, and we're just going to position these to where it should go. And, you know, that looks pretty good right there. I like that. Okay, let's select OK to that move. <clears throat> We're going to extrude. I'm going to select all of those items uh, to an object. And I'm going to select this back wall here. And now it's going to cut those. If I say OK, there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Let's get rid of this origin here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so we got uh, we got one done there. Uh, let's let's continue on. Let's do the next one here. I'm going to create a sketch there and just say finish. Whoops. Uh, go down to the Veronoi sketch editor. I'm going to select my newly selected uh, uh, sketch. Make sure you select the use profile size and then go to the Voronoi editor and let's do the same thing. Let's bring up the padding. Let's bring the cell scale down. 69 is fine. Let's bring the cell count down to something reasonable. Look at that. Boy, doesn't that look good right there? 26. Ah, that's a little tight for 3D printing and so, some of those. Let's, let's change this up a little bit. 21. That looks good. Let's use that. Publish. Uh, I gotta move these. Uh, it's not letting me select. What's going on? How come I can't? Let's do that. No. Nope. Huh? That's odd that it's not letting me. Okay. Let's get rid of the body. Let's select this. There we go. Move. Let's kind of position this to where it looks good in the middle of this thing. That looks, you know, I, I kind of want it in the middle here. Let's go 21.5. <laughs> ah, that looks good. Okay. I like the position. Let's bring back our body. It's going to let me select these. Yep. And extrude to an object. And again, we're going to select this wall here. And there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's, let's uh, continue on with a more with a little different uh, thing here. So this is not square. As you can see, there's a little bit of, of an indent here. So let's, uh, let's see what happens with this one. So let's select that. Uh, we'll make a sketch here, finish the sketch, create, Voronoi sketch editor, select our latest sketch, use a profile size, and to the Voronoi editor. And, and see what it did here? Look at that. So let's bring up our padding. Let's change the cell scale and bring down our cells, our cell count and see if we can't find some, 
Oh, gosh. Look at that. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Let's publish that sucker. And we do need to move these again. Now, sometimes this can be a little difficult. So what I like to do usually is turn off the body. That lets me select this a little easier. And we can do the move to where that looks like it's going to be good. Let's see. Uh, again here, I want to go with minus 21. Uh, minus 20.5. Ah, look at that. That looks good. Okay. Let's turn back on the body. Uh, we'll select all of those. Yeah, see it grab that. So, let's turn off the body. There we go. Turn that back on. Extrude to an object. Let's select this back wall here. And OK. And look at that. So there's a little bit of some gaps here, but that's not a big deal. Look at that. That looks really good. Okay, so another difficult face is going to be this one. <laughs> That's going to be a little funky, huh? Let's take care of that. Let's create a new sketch. Put it on here. Okay. Create Veronoi Sketch Editor. We'll select our sketch. We definitely need to click this button here. Use the profile size. Go to the Veronoi Editor. Same thing. Bring up the cell sketch padding. Bring up the, uh, the scale. Bring down the scale. And let's change this padding here to something that's going to be reasonable. And this is where it gets a little funky because this is a pretty tight area. And it just does. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. These, these are kind of touching here, which bothers me. But they're, they're in the bottom. They're in a location that's not really going to be visible. Let's, let's see what this does. Okay. So again, let's turn off the body. We got to move these. And remember, these were kind of touching. Let's let's see if we can't uh, get something really happy here. That looks pretty good. I I, I would like to bring it up a little bit. Uh, up just a little bit, not a lot. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I like that. <clears throat> Let's select all those cells. Bring back our body. We want to extrude to an object. And again, we're going to select this wall here. Okay, look at that. Look at that. See, that worked. That looks great, doesn't it? Now, this this area right here could use something. So let's let's edit the sketch. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna actually remove the body. <clears throat> what are they using here? I think they're using splines. So let's create a, some spline here. We'll uh, we'll go here. Here, 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 and here. Okay. Now the way, see this does not, it doesn't kind of fit here. What we need to do is adjust these sliders and bring down these edges so they're more, these edges are more prominent. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't that look good? Huh? That looks okay to me. Okay, finish sketch. Uh, let's edit this extrusion here. And we're going to select that item and okay. And yeah, see that looks a little better. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so... And I would just continue on with all the other, the, the remaining edges here. So uh, my finished project there, let's see, let's bring it up. Uh, 
So this is one I did um, with all of the side, uh, all of the uh, surfaces, and you know it looks it looks pretty good, I think. So that's uh, that's the Veronoi sketch editor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really quick and dirty. Okay, so that was the Veronoi sketch editor, Fusion three hundred and sixty. Uh, so yeah, that, that printed out really nice. That, uh, that worked out really well. So thanks for hanging out with uh, with me on 365 Prints. <laughs>